this game is indeed not shareware. So if you see it anywhere, zap it with your lightning spell! The Height of Gaming Entertainment Apogee Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Hocus Pocus, a platformer developed for the PC by Moonlight Software and published by Apogee Software in 1994. Hocus Pocus is a game that I remember playing when I was younger, but I wasn't the best in my household at it. I can't remember if it was my, my elder brother or sister who were better at this game than I was, but they certainly were, for whenever I loaded the game up, there tended to be a save file for the last level in each and every chapter there, all ready to go, because they'd been playing it. Hocus Pocus is indeed an Apogee game, and as many ch um, Apogee games are, they are um, episodic. There are four episodes in this game, and I believe the first one was Shareware. You could play the first uh, episode of Hocus Pocus entirely free. Back in the day when shareware was indeed a model. There are the graphics, music, sound system, story, level design, and programming credits for the publishing. And the special thanks to the entire Apogee beta test team. Press any key to continue. We may do so, but we'll see if there's anything else scrolling around. The game actually does slow down just a little in, in the sound on the menu when it records. It's absolutely fine in the uh, game itself, though. You'll notice that there are some borders on either side. That's so that we can get the uh, proper resolution so that everything's not all um, scattered out. There is ordering information, just in case you want to order the game. Let's have a look at that, shall we? This commercial edition is not shareware and should not be passed on. Fair enough. If you wish to share Hocus Pocus, please use the shareware edition, which only has the first episode. Back when they had the shareware model. Doom also had a shareware version where the first chapter was indeed free, and there were three chapters then initially. Only the first episode is available, the last three episodes feature exciting new graphics, new creatures, new puzzles, new music, and all new challenges. And you could order there to get all four chapters. But we have all four chapters, so let's not do that. Let's instead look at the legends and hints. Once upon a time, in the land of Lattice, there was an apprentice magician named Hocus Pocus. He had studied long and hard to become a true and powerful magician, one that could sit with pride on the Council of Wizards. The Council ruled this part of the land, and being a member was the highest honour. It also helped to get really good tables at restaurants. The head of the Council, Terexin, that is an amazing name, did not believe Hocus was serious with his studies mostly because of the doodles down the side of his spellbook, so he set him a series of tasks, each more dangerous than the first, and each more dangerous than the last. No, just more dangerous than the first. To make matters worse, Hocus could not marry his true love, the outrageously beautiful and well-drawn Popopa, until he became a member of the council. That complicates matters slightly, and there's no explanation at all as to why he can't marry her. He just can't. Because plot! So Hocus said goodbye to his parents, slow and beginner Pocus, and set off to defeat the evil Terexin set. Uh, the evils Terexin set before him. Terexin is in fact. Actually, I'll make let you make your own mind up about if Terexin is evil. We're not sure if he's just. like, malicious, or if he's battling levels of evil. I'll let you be the judge. I have my own opinion on if he is with only his determination and nicely tailored magician's outfit to protect him. He also has his infinite pocket-sized lightning spell, which could also prove helpful. That's very helpful! He has the ability to zap lightning out of his fingers... forever. All power in the land of Lattice had its source in magic crystals, gems that resonate when brought together in sets. You must capture the crystals of each of your adversaries to rob them of their magical powers said to Rexon. And should one of the adversaries, well, meet with an accident, no one would really complain, if you know what I mean. And then there's a description of every single chapter. We shall only look at the first chapter for now, we shall look at the second chapter when we get there. 
The Council use such tests to rid themselves of pesky adversaries that pose a threat to their control of the area. The most annoying were the Mad Monks of Melanoir. These monks guarded their part of the magic paths, the dimensional shortcut by which you could travel to the different parts, and different eras, of Lattice. They would charge a toll to those wanting to travel along their paths, which were among the most heavily travelled paths in the land, especially the path to the beautiful Amazon tribes before the Time of Clothes era. Hmm, I'm not sure that era exists, Tyraxin. I think you made that one up. This bothered the Council, who wanted them removed so they could get on with their studies. So that is the first test indeed. We need to kill the Mad Monks of Melanoir. I'm not sure the Mad Monks really thought of their name carefully, did they? Well, let's escape. We have uh, the instructions on how to play, which we can indeed look at. Switches, up arrows to flip them. Wizards, up arrows, arrows to talk. Elevators, the up and down work. Moving left and right, indeed use the left and right arrows. Alt is fire. Control is jump, and up and alt is fire up. <laughs> Firing up is important as there are flying enemies in this game. There are indeed many things that you can use to collect points, like rubies, diamonds, goblets, crowns. This is a points based game and there is high scores. Healing, potions, laser shots, rapid fire, super jump, and teleport. There's extra firepower, and some bricks can be destroyed. You need keys to unlock doors, as most games do, and you need to collect all crystals to finish a level. Collect all treasure for us extra bonus. Level number will flash when all are collected. Fair enough. And if you have a Gravis gamepad, which uh, looking around me right now I do not, I don't happen to have one, that is how you would play the game. I don't have a Gravis gamepad, so we can ignore those instructions. While playing, you may press any of these keys as well. You can press any key on the keyboard, but only those keys will do something. You can actually turn the music and the sound off in the game and go straight to volume control, which is actually quite handy. But without further ado, let's actually begin the game, shall we? There are four chapters. We shall start with Time Tripping, which is the first chapter. And we have three difficulties. Easy game, good for beginners. I'm not going to be playing on that and this hard, the ultimate battle. I'm also not going to be playing that. I will, however, play moderate, a reasonable challenge. And it throws you straight into the first level. The music is not actually set up so that they're all the sa exactly the same level, which is why I have the sound as it is. Collect all the magic crystals to finish this level. That, if you haven't seen, is a magic crystal. On the right, you will also see that there is a magic crystal already visible. And I'm pointing at the screen with my hand here, because there isn't a mouse in this, so I can't point with a mouse. Let's go! Left and right indeed moves, control indeed jumps, he does a weird animation with his uh, cloak when he jumps. Alt fires, and alt up fires up. You can also use uh, the up key to look very slightly up. I remember playing this game and not having the actual sound effects, or as good uh, music drivers when I originally played. I actually used, used the uh, computer speaker sound through the speakers. Not through the computer speaker itself, because I don't think we had a com well, We did actually have a computer speaker, actually. We did have a few very old games that actually used computer speaker sound. <laughs> they were very old. Right! There is our uh, fellow wizard, the man who has set us these tasks. I'll let you be the judge on if he's a nice guy. So, another brave apprentice. You'll never make it through these castle walls alive. <laughs> Personally, I think he's just angry that we're taller than him. Look at us. We're taller. But he indeed is on the council, and we aren't. So, we'll leave him be nearly batten and nubbles of evil, and move on. Now, as you can see here, it's quite a nice scene. And then they have skulls on the wall. This is meant to be a nice, easy, relaxing level, and then skulls on the wall. Are you quite sure you're not battling levels of evil? Really? You have skulls on the wall. <laughs> no matter. Enemies, unfortunately, tend not to just be here. They tend to just appear with those little uh, animations there. They tend to just appear. 
That was some clever jumping there by me. I think I was quite fortunate there. Enemies appear, some of them fire projectiles, and you indeed can shoot them, and also collecting those uh, crystals makes the screen flash red briefly. We don't need any health, so we're not going to pick any of those up. Hello, wizard. You might find a silver key to your left and up the stairway, but you'll never find the secret treasure room in this castle. I have a regular correspondence with Badlin, by the way. Um, oh, wait, I've just got to go check if I have one. Are you still here? Go get yourself killed up there. There is indeed only one life. You have to restart the level if you die. Let's try not to die, shall we? There is indeed a additional power-up for my lightning effect. There indeed is another enemy, a charging mushroom, as we are currently being attacked by lizards. And he, for some reason, he's very happy about getting that in a very high-pitched voice, but now he's also very happy about picking up keys. I'm not sure if I prefer it, actually, to have the uh, PC speaker sounds. It didn't have him squeaking yahoos at me before. I do indeed have a key. I can now go this way, purely to collect this, and then get ambushed by lizards. And suddenly, lizard ambush. These are not particularly difficult enemies. I wasn't expecting them to be. Considering the fact that they are, it is the first level of the And then I got hit. Considering it is the first level of the game, I do remember a very nasty thing about the first few levels of the final chapter. And here are the first aerial enemies. Ow. I'm not the best at dealing with the aerial enemies in this game. I tend to wait for them to get to my level and then just zap them, rather than zapping up, which can make the camera judder up a lot if there is a way to look up. <laughs> also, first level of the game, lava. There is, in fact, lava on the very first level of the game. And this castle is not very secure, is it? Just thinking about that. There's a massive hole here in the back of the castle. Anybody could just jump in here. Admittedly, they would be jumping into a pool of lava, but what if they can fly? What if the enemy can in fact fly? I haven't uh, mentioned the quite nice music in this game. M game has some pretty nice music. Also, I wonder if there's a secret here. There isn't one here, but there is one somewhere nearby. More skulls and more evil gargoyle faces. Makes me wonder if Hocus has uh, got in over his head. But it is quite a nice platforming game, and I thought I would uh, relive my childhood by playing it. Also, why they put a charging mushroom there when there is no possible way that the charging mushroom can reach you unless you charge... Ah, hello, aerial enemies. Like, unless you dive straight into where that mushroom thing was, you are not going to get hit by that. Also, I've picked up the final, well, near final crystal. There's one more crystal to get, and a key, which we are going to go and check out. I imagine there will be enemies appearing behind? No! The game is big on having enemies appear behind you. Much like the original Duke Nukem games by Apogee, or published by Apogee, they like games where enemies just appear out of nowhere, or when you're put in very difficult situations because of enemies. Well, that indeed is now open, and there is a switch. I think it's time to press it and get all these crowns. How Hocus is managing to carry loads of crowns, I don't know. Also, oh, nope. Remember, oh, I totally forgot to get the secret area over there. There is, in fact, a secret area, and I totally missed it. I might, in fact, add it in at the very end here. For this is, in fact, the first level, and it's the only level that I actually remember where the secrets are. I didn't get all the treasures, no I did not, but I will when I get through here again. So I'll be back in one moment where I'm going to show you the secret area because I totally missed it. Totally missed it. One moment. And I'm back here at the end of the level and I managed to accidentally fall into the lava momentarily on the way back, also completely forgetting that when you collect the final crystal, that ends your level. And I just ran into the lava again, because I pressed ALT to jump instead of control. I also noticed while doing this again, how fast he runs, the animation, like, he's, he's literally, like, doing a really brisk jog there by the looks of the animation. He's running, and yet he's 
Looks like he's just jogging. He also looks really angry all the time. Although I suppose if he's being sent on this quest to go and collect crystals and blow everything up, I think you would probably be a bit angry yourself. Anyway, the secret is here. Remember that so secret treasure room? It's here. Here it is. Lots of treasure. And the wizard. So you found the secret treasure room. Perhaps I misjudged you. You are still doomed to failure! Wow, wait for it to give me a nice, you know, big hearty clap on the back and a good luck there. No, you think I'm going to fail? Well, zap to you, sir. Zap. We shall see about that. We shall go and collect the final crystal. And leave to jubilant high-pitched yahoos! While we may have not got a time bonus, and I don't think I ever will in any of these levels, this time I got 50,000 bonus points for collecting every single treasure. And when we come back, folks, we shall continue into the realms of Hocus Pocus and into a game of my gaming childhood. I haven't talked about the game that much and my experiences of playing it back then, but that's because I've mainly been talking about the first level and the general mechanics and how pathetically guarded this castle is. Look at the massive hole in the back! Anything can just fly right in. Ah, oh, wizards and their castles. Wizards and their castles. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Pew pew! Or oh, actually, no. Zap tap! It just doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Zapping things. Zap. I could get used to it, though. Zap.